Okay, this is our first time eating Indian rojak. What do you think? It's good. Good. You can just give it. Oh, this one, ah. This one. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Sante Alia, very nice. It is a Monday evening, it's about 5 pm. And uh, hi, you're watching Greg's Beat Eats. And we are here at Norris Road, or rather the junction of Norris Road and Serangoon Road, to talk about Ask Me Restaurant. Which, when you ask people where to get the best chapati in Singapore, most recommendations will be for Ask Me Restaurant, which is just over there. There, that one. Now in the hands of the third generation, Bilal Aman and Abuza Alam, Azmi restaurant was started by their grandfather who migrated from Uttar Pradesh to Singapore. The eatery started in 1960 and it has been situated all this time at Tai Hong restaurant, this coffee shop here. This quaint coffee shop in an old school shop house at the junction of Norris Road and Serangoon Road. Very frequently you see shoppers stopping by for breakfast or lunch before they head off to Mustafa Center. So come to some taste. Chi Champati. Makan makan. Makan. Champati dua, tiga. Tiga tiga. Kari mau. Kari ya kima plus dah cik pi ya tu. Okay, I'm back with my order. The each chapati is one dollar, I believe. And I ordered three. And then I ordered two kinds of curries. So I ordered the kima, which is kind of like a mutton curry. And then I ordered the chana masala, which is basically the chickpea curry. They used to serve cucumber and onions automatically, but they've since uh, done away with that lah. And then so you have to request it. And it comes in a plastic bag like this. But they give you a plate lah, so there you go. You can open it yourself. So this is the chapati itself. Okay. I mean, the chapati is freshly cooked. Lah. That's the main highlight here. It's thicker and larger than the normal prata. And uh, despite its thickness, right, it still has a little bit of fluffiness and elasticity. Very slight. Lah. So if you look at the side of the store, right, there's actually one man who actually prepares the dough. He breaks off the dough, then flattens the chapati into shape. And while another cooks the chapati on a hot tawa, which is a large round griddle pan. Lah. Um, the taste is plain, which one it is, uh. but chapati is plain anyway. Um, the dough is made from wheat flour and water, so it's only got the taste of the wheat, plus a little of that smoky toastiness, and um, unlike many recipes you find on the internet, right, no oil or salt is added to the dough, actually. So it's bread, lah, you know, it's bread, roti, chapati, it's chapati. Lah. It's really very plain, very tasteless, but what makes it is actually the curries here. So Asmi serves a range of curries and dishes, everything from butter chicken and down to fish curry and lady swingers. But most customers will actually order the mutton kima, which I believe is three fifty. Yeah, three fifty. Yeah, it's mutton mince curry with potatoes and peas. The most popular dish to eat with chapati. So um, I'm gonna dip some inside. And that's where the beauty comes in. Oh my god. So the chapati is plain. So all the flavour 
and oil richness right comes from the curries itself so the keema comes very nicely savory not too salty and you've got a potent masala curry sauce it's a bit smoky as well you've got a mildly spicy cake there's no powdery curry feel to it and it's got a very nice rounded flavor full of spices but not spicy very lightly spicy but very spice rich very nice it is liberally oil rich but it's a good thing yes, it pairs well with the healthier and very plain chapati and this keema is what actually makes the fact that you come all the way here so special so for those who want a different flavor out for the chana masala which is the chickpea curry it's two dollars i believe and um i actually prefer this sometimes Very nice. Oh. So they are nicely cooked through, but it's got a nice soft bite. Uh. Yeah. And of course, it's got that chickpea flavor. Uh. Less oil rich, but just as robust as the flavor. Now, both curries are actually pretty impressive because there's actually a nice smokiness in the flavor. Uh. It's been cooked well, these curries. So if you want some veg, there's obviously some cucumbers and onions. It's just plain, and so you just eat it as it is. Uh. Plain cucumber, plain onions, a bit sweet, very nice. Now as I said, the main reason why you eat here is that the chapatis are freshly cooked and if you've ever tasted chapatis which are not freshly cooked, right, they tend to be a bit, a bit stodgy, a bit doughy, you know, so like that. Lah. You know, this one is quite fluffy. Lah. But don't expect a wild experience when you eat the chapati on its own, lah, you know. Chapati is just plain. Yeah. I know some people, they like travel all the way here. They think that, oh wow, you know, the best chapati in Singapore and they eat it and it's like, what the hell? The chapati is not the attraction. I mean, it is, but it's not really the attraction. Lah. It's the fact that it's freshly cooked, plus the fact that they've got such killer curries here. That's why. So some chickpea curry, and some raw onion, and the chapati. Brilliant. Now, how much should you order? Actually, I over ordered a bit. Three chapatis a person is a bit much. Right? Per person, you should be aiming for about two. If you're a small eater, one should be enough. Just assuming that you're eating it with the curries and all. Right? But two is a safe gauge right? for most appetites. So, as I said, this is 8.50, right? I ordered three chapatis, that's three. There's a chickpea curry, that's two. And then this is 3.50. So, 8.50 and all. This is kind of like complimentary, I guess. Teh Alia. Come to a place like this. I was always drink Teh Alia. I don't know. <laughs> That's me lah. <laughs> so that was a look at Asmi restaurant. We serve the most talked about chapati in Singapore. As I said, you come here really for the curries. You know, and the chapati is fresh, which is an added bonus. And it's also the fact that you actually uh, dine in a, in a very old school coffee shop like this lah. It's very quaint lah, you know. It takes you back like 30 years, 20, 30 years. Back when this sort of coffee shop was common in Singapore lah. It's no longer is lah. Oh, just FYI, the third gen owners opened another outlet at Dalhousie Lane in October 2019. I've tried this outlet a couple of times, but to my taste buds, uh, the one at Norris Road is still better lah. At least to my taste buds. And the reason is because this place is uh, still relatively unknown as compared to the Norris Road one. And so the chapatis are actually made fresh over there, but the problem is that it is stored in an insulated container. So it is not as fresh because there isn't as much business, there isn't as much traffic, see? so that's the problem. Also the curries are actually more or less the same. I tried the keema and I tried the uh, chickpea curry, all both very nice, but there is perhaps a bit of a powdery feel, but it could be just the day itself. Like. If there's any change to the quality in the future, I'll put a future note in the video description below um, if the quality changes. Like. Okay, so back to the vlog. Mm, okay, done. I can't finish this. Like. I think I'm gonna leave this out. So, um, thanks for watching another episode of Great Sweet Eats. So we eat through the whole of Singapore. If you like, this episode if you like subscribe comment below turn on the notifications bell and i will see you in the next one bye bye